Thinking. Are you Jewish? What are you saying? I asked if you were Jewish. Yeah. But you don't know if you're Jewish. I mean, I'm definitely not uh, Jewish like you are. Oh, you don't have to look like me to be Jewish. Then yeah, yeah, I guess I am. Uh, my parents, they're Jewish. I thought that the premise of anti-Semite was, was very interesting in that we get to see this journey of this young man who really doesn't identify at all with his uh, Jewish roots and culture um, and is almost like resistant of it in, in, in ways. And we get to see him be shown like the beauty of his culture, the beauty of his religion. And he takes it on and embraces it and gets excited and passionate about it in this very wholesome, almost childlike way. And it's so, so, so beautiful to watch. But there's also a sense of naivety because he's learning about all the beauty and the wonder of it, but has not yet lived the experience of walking through the world as that person visibly. And um, it's quite a rude awakening for him when he does that. And it's so heartbreaking because it's, it, it's like he just has this childlike wonder and like way of seeing the world. And because he really wasn't prepared for the negative side of that, it, it really threw him for a loop. And he was just like, but why me? But why? 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 I'm the same person that I was before, but now people are treating me differently. And I think it brings up an interesting conversation of privilege in that, you know, he's able to quite physically take on and off his Jewish identity and um, be able to protect himself in that way and be able to shield himself from the uh, negative aspects of being like visibly Jewish. Um, whereas other Jewish people and you know, in a broader sense, other genders, races, identities, etc., um, don't have that privilege and, and have are stuck with the bodies um, and the visible markers that they have. Um, so there's just kind of so much to dive into, and I, I thought that this story was told really well and in a very like clear and concise and like sim. It, it's like a simple film um and simple story but there's so much behind it and um i just i think it was really well done and um i like the perspective that it took a lot anti-semite is a really like emotionally engaging portrait of a kind of spiritual awakening spiritual development but also a kind of spiritual crisis as well you know like seeing him uh tentatively like explore and try to develop his own sense of Jewishness, I guess it's genuinely, it's, it's actually really moving um, and it's also really interesting. You don't get to see that sort of thing often, so it's a really interesting angle on quite, you know, wide-ranging issues, and universal, like, very engaging issues. Um, you know, but the film itself, like, very bravely refuses to shy away from the darker aspects, not just the titular like anti-Semitism, which is you know, horrible when it happens, but also the ways in which the Jewish religion itself can have been used for violent, repressive events, um, you know, and the, kind of the trauma that that tradition can engender. Um, you know, it's a very well-rounded portrait of things. Um, but I think what emerges is like a cry for <clears throat> compassionate, kind of more like individual sense of faith that resists any notion of conformity and violence. Um, which I think is a message that is very, very much needed at this time. So I think it's really good. Um, I really liked anti-Semite. Um, I really liked the way, um, you know, I never thought about the the, the complexities of being uh, raised, I guess, culturally Jewish, but not religiously Jewish, um, ethnically Jewish, but not culturally Jewish. Um, I never really thought about the complexities like that because I'm not, I'm not Jewish. Um, and this really uh, brought those issues to light. And brought brought um, those complexities to uh, to light to an audience that, in a way that is accessible to an audience like me. Um, so I really like that. Um, I thought the main actor dude was really good, um, and I thought it tackled the subject matter um, with with uh, finesse. So, you know, really well done. Good job. This film is called Anti Semite. This was a heartbreaking short from the U.S. 
a young man whose heritage is Jewish meets Isaac who introduces him to some Jewish traditions and so he starts to become more interested in Judaism. Sadly, he is hurt by anti-Semitism. I love the performances of the whole cast, especially the lead. He goes on a real character journey in this one. I enjoyed the various shots of Hollywood and was fascinated to learn more about Judaism. Well done, anti-Semite, check it out. This was a really cool film. I think first and foremost, all of the actors did such a great job. Everybody was very believable. It was um, realistic and I loved the points that the son was bringing up. He brought up some really valid points throughout this film that was great. The lighting was stunning. The camera work, the cinematography, all of that was just amazing. Um, the way that it started though was a little bit confusing when um, he first met Isaac on the street because it's a very urban area. It's not a very small town. So it just seemed a little bit like a, um, hey little boy, want some candy kind of a moment. And I was surprised that our lead actor actually went with him when Isaac said, hey, I wanna show you something. I was like, uh, no, is it a white van? And you're gonna, you know, I'm gonna end up an episode of CSI. I don't know, maybe I watched too much true crime, but that to me, it just seemed a little like it needed a little bit more massaging on why somebody would approach him on the street and immediately ask him if he was Jewish. Um, but I think that the premise for the story is there and it is such an important story to tell. I would have liked to have seen um, maybe just five more minutes at the end to see kind of what happened after that beating and as they were sitting on the steps to the synagogue, I felt like it ended right before a very pivotal point and where our lead was about to make a choice. But I think that you guys did a really great job on this. I think anyone who finds God becomes a better person. It's a beautiful journey, but not an easy one as this film shows. I also have never understood anti-Semitism as almost every Abrahamic religion broke off from Judaism. And it's something they seem to have forgotten. It's this film shows what this character's journey is like. It's not easy finding God. It's which he shows in getting in touch with your faith. Cause there's a lot of evil in the world. You can't, control it. And this film showed that you can't control what other people do, what their reactions are. Like I said, I personally don't understand why so many people have issues with the Jewish faith. It's what most of us stem from. And a lot of the people who hate them happen to be Christians who don't realize our savior was Jewish. They're not the people to turn our backs on. It's, um, and that's not like the bad way. It's because it's what God has ordained. It, this film, Anti-Semite, shows that it's not easy. And that he almost made a bad choice. But that guiding voice, a mentor, stops him. He's going to probably be the friend that this kid needs in the long run. I think this film is very relatable to the fact that there's a lot of people who grow grow up knowing they grew up in faith but they didn't really get raised going to worship services or living the faith and that's how traditions get lost but it is something that each person should try and find by themselves when they're ready and this film showed that this kid at this time was So I think it was a uh, very beautifully made for that reason is it shows the journey to faith, but that it's not an easy one because everybody's going to have an opinion and you could get hurt, but it's still there in the end.